Sierra Leone is a resourceful and beautiful country for men, women and children. Prostitution is generally seen as a global maintenance. It is also a threat to public health. As ugly as it seems, it is an important test for our religious beliefs and morality as no religion nor any culture will ever accept it. Due to current research, there are 240,572 prostitutes all over the nation. At night, commercial sex workers are in active business at Lombly Beach, Yui Building, Lamsat, Elina, Falkoop, Bon Os, and so much more other places. A visit to different communities and districts around the country helps to identify most sex workers who we are willing to share their stories to advocate and see how best to reduce prostitution in Sierra Leone. I'm Yuna Maisato, 25. I only have about 10 years now. Me and Mama and Papa belong to life. And I have a job. 10. I'm taking the work safe, so let me uncool. But I don't know who work me, so he may take over me. He used me to, I fed up. I fed up using. So like, I'm not tough in life. I want to tell me auntie, but tell me say, if you tell me auntie, I'll be able to give me a news. So like, I'm not be giving. I'll be able to obey now. So I say, one thing can tire. It's a very whole left use. HIV, that gonorrhea, it's a very nasty thing. So, no, we all get them nasty things. So, let me just think, let us sit there and they're a very nasty thing. Try it now. I'm going to speak to them and tell me, say, I'm going to sit there. So, I'm not deciding, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to do it to me. Because it's not going to do it, I waste of money no more. So, I just decided by saying, they pay me. So, the man in our city say, then they do that violence with them, they will take a shave and get them cup. Many of them will come see once, and they give. That's why I say they pay me money, they pay me amount of money, I call. I will, I will save you, we we'll use condom. Mr. Papa, they lay dogs, many guys will wait once. They want an amount, they want an annex, when my mama can die. They punish me. They punish me. I don't get away for do. Because I come on at it. I say make a career. Because we don't let out. Me name give me nothing for it. Nothing. This is a global issue. It is so disheartening where you see young girls, pregnant women, girls with bright future throwing themselves away, losing their way, being drifted from their dreams, their aspirations. They all have different reasons for being prostitute, different lifestyle different upbringing. But the main reason, the main issue here is poverty. The bars and the clubs around Lombly and Abaddon Beach, there are lots of disadvantages going on there. We had a female entrepreneur who also spoke to us. Hello everyone. My name is Miata Daphne Ifeogene. I'm the founder and CEO of Carmel and Butcher. Carmel and Butcher is an online media show which can be found on YouTube. Today we'd like to talk about the vices of prostitution. I'm sure we all know what the issues are around prostitution and usually what happens to young girls who get into the act or the practice of prostitution. We all know that it's an age-old habit or an age-old practice that's been around from the beginning of time. And if we look back, we'll be able to see that most of these young girls or women that get into the practice of prostitution usually go in due to hardship, or sometimes some of them are led into it through some form of human trafficking or coercion. So what I'd like to say to all Sierra Leonean girls is to try and find a mentor when growing up. I know that growing up sometimes in homes, that sometimes you are abused by parents, by family members. Try and look for someone that you can talk to, that can help you, that can guide you. It's a very cruel world out there, which we all know. But at the same time, you always need to look out for help or cry out for help. There are different avenues in which you can look for help. Sometimes you can go to the Ministry of Social Welfare or sometimes you can look for an older person within your society who would listen. If you find out that they're not listening, look for someone else. Keep talking about it. It might be a taboo and not talking about being abused, but it's very necessary to do so. So I beseech all young women out there, 
Prostitution is not the solution. Try and look for something to do. Learn, learn a job or learn, learn something. There's something out there. Learn to cook, learn to sew. And then, of course, talk about all your problems or whatever issue you're going through, learn to talk about it. What alone is in the western rural area in Sierra Leone. The people are known for their peace, their farming. Bright Light Project is a non-profit organization and presently on a flagship program called Girls Shall Rise, providing educational and skills training support to victims of gender-based violence, especially rape victims, commercial sex workers, and girls living with HIV and AIDS since 2017. My name is Benson Kander, the project coordinator for Bright Light Projects. Sierra Leone, Western Urban and Rural Urban District, Free Town. So we are the Bright Light Project Sierra Leone. We are doing a project presently that has to do with uh, GSRO, which is Gear Share Rise, MGD, Mend the Gap. And all these things are geared towards helping children, children that are vulnerable, children that don't have support to continue their education, children that have the potential to be someone in the future. But because of lack of support, we come in to help those people to give them the support they need for them to be useful and to be beneficial to their communities and the country Sierra Leone as a whole. Um, this particular prostitution girls that are involved in these things have potentials and these are people who have vision but because of the condition or the situation or community they find themselves, they have no choice but to involve themselves into that. But we as organization, we see these people that, oh, if we can bring these people from the street, enlighten them make them more substantial in their communities. They can be better people and they can be leaders of tomorrow because we know all of us in this world have potentials. We have skills and talent that have been deposited in us by our God Almighty. So if we as Bright Life Projects right now, we don't ignore those people, we bring them on board, try to maximize their potential, try to open up their talent that have been given to them and make them useful to the community as a whole. My name is Mrs. Arika Ilasayo. I represent the Bright Lights. We then there for help we begin in the streets. I mean, the help for all them mama there, for them begin there also. Now this we environment. They begin to be there in the streets. I then get to there. Many say they say enjoyment, I didn't kind of for smoke, for drink. My net in the commodes, just for five thousand, ten thousand. So, me say, I say, no to life. So, I take up the responsibility to see the wire before come close with them. For fence side, we say, the for good land. And we thank God for this particular organization. We come. So, when Mr. Ila, they for tell me, say, this don't come at the school, the institution. So, I be so happy. So they go all out for Kawu today. Hi, I am Fibian Swil. I am a broadcast journalist. I am an actress, an entrepreneur, and well, a lot more. So this is my take about prostitution, yeah? There are, first of all, several things leading to prostitution. You have a class of those who do prostitution right now who are just, well, I would say, don't know they have better options as means of survival who think that's the only thing they can do to survive because they they either they either don't have proper education or it's it's just one thing or the other it's it's really difficult for them and there's another class of those who they're there not because there's nothing else for them to do it's because they they just they they just want to be there they just want to do it because there are those who went to school who know they can do other things. Well, of course, you know, there are several forms of prostitution now. It's not only those um, ladies or girls who go out at night and stand on the streets to get people sleep with them for money. There are those who dress nicely, some who even work, but they spend their time sleeping with one man or the other to make money. And that category of those who practice prostitution. I think it's those who are not satisfied. Those who want to be more successful than they work hard enough to be. The solution to that is entrepreneurship. Teaching these women how they can be empowered, how they can create employment for themselves, and then preaching content mind. Letting them know that success is not something you build overnight. So it's time for those women to think and say, 
who am I? What do I want to be known for? Do you want to be known as the most notorious prostitute in the country? Or do you want to be known for something else? It's never too late for you to change your story, to change your narrative. Start today and say, yes, I want to be more than just a prostitute. I want to be a successful woman by working hard enough to earn every penny I make. That way it comes with respect, it comes with peace of mind, it comes with self-fulfillment. You feel fulfilled that yes, every penny I have and spend, I have worked hard enough to own it. So minus just saying education. Not everybody honestly can get educated. Not everybody can go tertiary level and say, I am educated. Now look at even TVET, it's an option. You can go to any technical vocational institute and learn something. And even if you don't want to go there, like I said, no matter how terrible you are, there is at least one thing you're really good at, a skill. Use that skill and translate it into money making. It's, it's, it's incumbent upon you to say, I want to change. The change you want, the, the development you want for your personal life, it starts with you. So today, make a decision to say, prostitution is not my only option. Prostitution is not the solution. I refuse to be a prostitute. I want to be an empowered woman. So start today. Think, what skills do you have? How can you make money without prostituting? That's my message to you with love. Sister to sister. My name is Abdul Karim Mila, coordinator for Kumbra Training Center, 25 year old. Um, basically, our work here as an institute, we here to. This institute is established back in 2007. We here to. It's a forum that we create to help young women in the society in order to become a self reliant. With the coming of bright lights to this institution, you will find out that they have been enhanced most of these young girls to become self-reliant by paying their fees, paying their practicals, and help them with other learning materials. Majority of them still are in need of this help, um, but we want to ask Bright Light so that they will continue to help them because besides this one they are helping now, there are others out there who want this help, who want this opportunity, who also are yearning in order to become a self-reliant in their future. The Socialized program came about as a result of the recommendations of the BLP's pioneer program in Sierra Leone called Mend the Gap Schooling Program for Vulnerable Ebola Orphans and Survivors, MDG. BLP found out during its pilot phase implementation of MDG in both Western Area Rural and Bombali District that most of Ebola's orphans have restored to prostitution due to lack of support. BLP came up with Girl Shall Rise, GSR, to provide support through formulas and skill training to victims of gender-based violence, especially rape commercial sex workers and girls living with HIV and AIDS. My name is Nasi Maoy. I've been on the streets. Bright lights pull me on the streets. And Erika, he meets me, tell me about Bright Light Project. It took me, I go up a camp outside the program, the office there. Then write my name. Then take me, then come with me to Penicilla, senior secondary school. They can put me in a school. Although the year I for be sit was, I not be fortunate for get possible where they pay for me. I come out there. So when they count me Peninsula Senior Secondary School, they can put me SS2 because I already meet me company there. They don't snap them. When they put me SS2, I be here at 10. Bright light supply me bag, books, shoes, and give me uniform. I be here at 10. From there, then give me results. I promote for go SS3. Science, not there again. Now, me in SS3, now what's the country for sit? What let them do for me, but put in. So I don't know how to tell and thank yourself. My name is Nathalie Kamara. One for tell bright light and thank you for what you do for me. I've been in the streets, another person will take care of me. Bright lights come and take me in the streets. For more bright, li for more bright lights take me, count me, decide for put me in a school. 
So I begin to now, now I promote to go SS2. One for ten bright light thank you for what you don't do for me. So I advise some of you come in the way in our streets, you know, lose up. Streets they pay. I really appreciate for what bright light don't do for me. Streets they pay. And I will pray so that God life will continue for help with the with the girl picking there within our streets. My name is Beshe Sisi. I'm the number one beneficiary of waiting bright lights and doing my life. We I don't see them as good too. Surely we both who get me friends there, we get with them. But I tell God thank you for mommy Erika in life. We he able to go out and shout for we and bring we come. Let God bless bright lights. Where they do this for you. May God continue for the motivate them. Let God make the member with them sing, but we made them continue for motivate we support we make we land this too. But now na till we go better we tomorrow. Even now we society now we bomb them our family. So we glad for bright lights. But we see them do for you. Tell her thank you, like a today. Come my life don't change. So I tell you now, thank you now they support you. Let God put you now. Let God give you now more. Let God now give you support you. Let the sour bright light meet me. So now, tell her thank you. I'm not going to talk much. Because I know right now the kind of condition where I be right now. And I did tell her what I see yes. Makeni is the largest city in the northern province of Sierra Leone. This city is the capital of Bombali district. Makeni is the fifth largest city in Sierra Leone by population. The city had a population of 80,840 in the 2004 census and in 2015 it was estimated to be 112,428. This percentage has 30% of girls living with HIV and AIDS. This part of the country, their stories are pathetic to the extent of seeing an HIV positive 13 year old prostitute and the rest with sad stories. My name is Lovet Akago. Like me, so what do you make a can of the street? Because what can I post in the anchor with me now? But the man wake out with me and the anchor left me. He left me two picking me. He never took care of them. So when he left me, he lost for me. I don't know where about. I now pass. When he took the witch, I did take that volume five again picking for me to sleep. I go out on a line. Because me picking the dance more small. Now for that street life, now that they feed them. Pass a go also. Any night pass a go also before they get a living. Not all of them want to be sex workers. Not all of them are willing to sell their body. But because of circumstances, they had to. We should not judge them for what they are doing because we don't know their reasons. My name is Elizabeth Kamara. For when people and die, now come on the streets and then they go to school again. So, three, so why come on, why come on the street now? And they do very good business now. I don't get possibly help me. So, now they, me back at, where, where three men they go, they go help me. So, now they have, I get this picture in Bele, but I don't have the possibility to give me that in Bele. I think that the girl child need some kind of empowerment because if prostitution is all going on prior to poverty then the girl child needs empowerment I guess if I can't see the man say all the words and the people don't know there yes my daddy back down that my mom did suffer my mom did not believe so I prefer I can't sleep I can't survive yeah, I'm 16 years old. In we will go for beer no more because we're not going to do it. Pass I go for go to do that and because I, then there's there they will move for the two then go off me. I no go that put me pass I one day jail. What come on I I can't sit back. In I'm 13 years. I begin 10 years in business. Police in the car, pull 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 and left way back. On this last day I back now names. Where they call me? Where I go? Where they go use me? They owe me money back and phone me out. And they took me back there. Yeah. Yes. And you Yes. 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 Yes.
the police pass na me now for go by the stone pass. I think that companies, individuals, organizations have to come together and stop this. Even though we might not be able to stop it, but at least we can reduce it. Because prior to prostitution, we see single parenthood, we see um, um, fatherless children, we see, I mean, prostitution causes a lot. It puts children on the streets. It, it, it promotes, uh, that's the only thing that promotes uh, HIV, AIDS, and other STDs. Please, we're asking people to come on board and help fight this enigma that's disturbing the world. BLP has signed MOUs with Combra Training Center and Jue Vocational Training Center in Waterloo. BLP has signed MOU with Sierra Leone Opportunities and Industrialization Center, SLOIC, in McKinney, where most of our beneficiaries are currently undergoing training. BLP has also signed MOU with Maristops International on preventive care for the girls to avoid unwanted pregnancy so they can be able to complete their training course. Most of these girls are on the streets not by choice but by circumstances. Every human being strives to do well. Their personal stories will leave you sometimes crying. Please highlight the fact that Bright Light Project needs support from other partners, both private and public, to be able to carry out an all-country campaign to save our girls. I am Michael Abdurrahman Kamara, Northern Region Project Bright Light at Bombalet District, Makeni. Bright Light Project is a community-based organization that is registered to um, promote the welfare of women and children in the northern part of Sierra Leone. Bright Light Project has its project that it has been implementing for some years ago and some of this project has to do with um, the mending the gap for Ebola survivors and orphans and also a project that is um, the Girls Shall Rise project which is one of the flagship projects of Bright Light projects emanated from the MDG. BLP discovered that um, some of the girls who are Ebola orphans and survivors resuscitated to prostitution and um, some form of um, activities that do hinder their health and um, even serve as hindrance to their life in particular. Reverend John S. Bangure, the principal of the Sierra Leone OIC in McKinney. The Bright Light Project, a project to we they admire for the simple reason that um, they're able to go out and identify um, marginalized girls, more so the girls the way they get the living through this bad worker, you know, they're able to identify them, bring them kind of SLOIC, forgive them skills training, counseling, entrepreneurship, you know, and tell them the reality of life. And I admire them for even able to identify them. The process so they use for able to identify them. And indeed, when they come, when we do orientation with them, we find out, say, their life been difficult. And indeed, they were street girls. And uh, there was nothing like hope for them. Uh, when they ask them if they're grateful to Bright Light Project, oh, they say, yes, 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 they're grateful because Brad's Light Project not able to identify them for let them change, you know, their destiny so that instead of them being dropped out, they will now be people where they contribute to the development of their own country. According to Bright Light, where they don't begin to help with us, so one so back let them help with confidence in the streets. Because some of them, I like SLOIC, so we can SLOIC. We don't get money, not they able to land job. Because some of them, they, they make that thing, they, they, they can't pay money, which of course, because they don't get what they push and go before, they're not, they, they, they not they able to down the, 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 the cause. They left. Like every so now, like a bright light, they help you so, right now, but this cause here, yeah, so, now so go able to push yourself far. So right now, the mass mass now work they get what want eh? So now they use us to transport like we saw some of us are very far. The big big one then, eh? now the country now, nah? they for they all for come as one. They big they help. Well, right 
Flights Project and they send me SLOIC at the Duke Home Management. And uh, the, the calls now for one year, six months. Well, I meet with Bright Lights to Lady P, where a woman, where they help ladies that are in a state. We go meet them because we don't tire for go to sleep all day, waka waka, go to party them. So we go meet them for this help because we, we understand seeing a woman where they help people them for meet organizations and for me they help people within a state. Well, since I come SLOIC, the difference is great. Because before now, I sleep all day, I be get, go club, work at to party them, I don't get nothing, and I don't be get no hope, I don't be even no say, I can do them. But since we bright lights put on and send me SLOIC, now they don't build me hope, I no say I can do better things then for myself. My name is Aminata Kabia. I can know this project here through Bright Lights, where I've been in the streets, through Lady P. Where Bright Lights send me na OIC, I can land home management. And the home management in there for one year, six months. And the, six, the three months, and they go for OJT. The one year, three months, in the can the changes I don't see right now, I tell God Papa God thank you because the way what I be there, it not be sweet for me. I not be fit say I go make her up. Mm -hmm. I be there, me I lost me daddy. I not get nobody. I be there in the streets, club to club. I not get nobody for help me. So this lady I can't take me. He say they get one office where they call Bright Light Projects. In there for help the woman there within the streets. So he decide for go to me there. And bright light try all kind of encounters me na OIC. Me na princess so much. It let me so me na able a survival. Able a guy hits my kidney. I lost me picking the lost me man lost all my been blind and paralyzed. Why well as is a job no the person no they help me. Me say mm, on the street. Eh, Fatima be able to say answer for girls. Yes na two answer for girls. So all agree. But tell me what in the past na club Fatima be you know? What in the past na the hot spot they know? They begin to go and rape and then corner them. When I was sula, in the in the first time for going to police, we cannot get money for forwarding case. Or you know, a little stigmatizer. Bright Light Project has been a backbone to them, but I don't think it's enough because there are a lot, a lot more who are in need of any support. Other organizations should come together to help Bright Light Project and look into the Girls Shall Rise campaign so they can help and save more girls from the street. The way Bright Light don't do it for some of them, then they book Bright Light just church half, millions leaders. All NGOs, all partners in board, all helpers, all governmentarians, who not come on board, who not come together. Sometimes it's important to talk with them and they share their stories. So people around the world will see and help change the future of these girls. Let's see how best we can all put our resources, no matter how small, no matter what you have. They say little you give is best than the greatest intentions you ever have. So let's join our hands together and save our girls.